Hi, my name is Rick. I'm sort of a tech enthusiast, and I finally purchased from Amazon an Arduino Uno R3 kit by a company that I believe is pronounced Elegoo. Like the title on the box says, it's one of the most complete starter kits available. Opening the starter kit, and you'll see a very well organized layout of parts and documentation. I'm very pleased how everything is packaged. Here's a thank you card with the location to download the latest tutorial. And reading from Amazon's comments, that's probably one of the first things you want to do. Because even though the CD is provided, which includes the PDF, code, and libraries, the latest versions will be on the web. I'm very impressed the way it's laid out. It looks very professional. It should be a lot of fun. As you can see, it includes a picture parts list and all the components are nicely organized in the kit. Here are some of the components provided by Elegoo. Among them, their own custom Arduino Uno R3 board. A prototyping board, power supply module, various motors, LCD 1602 module, a bunch of resistors, some wires, and discrete components, just to name a few items. One of the exceptional features of the Arduino Uno board is the excellent labeling of the pins not only on the silk screen, but also on the sides of the header strips. This should really help prevent confusion of which pin goes where. Okay, the first thing we need to do is go down to Elegoo's website and then select the download link to go to their download page. Then just scroll down to the Elegoo Uno R3, the most complete starter kit picture link. This will prompt you to save the latest version in a zip file format. Now I've already done this, so normally you would just click save, but I'm gonna, since I already done this before, I'm gonna hit cancel here and then I'll hit cancel here. The next thing we need to do is go to where you save that zip file. Right click that file to extract it, then select extract all. I recommend they get rid of that default folder that it creates because the folder with the same name is already embedded in the zip file. Now hit extract. Again, I'll hit cancel because I did this earlier. And under that folder, you'll see data sheet, various different languages, the Arduino IDE. Well, it's an older version, but under data sheet, you'll see various different parts and components. Uh, PDFs that will make it easier to find specific values for different parts. Back under English, we'll have uh, the codes and libraries. But where we need to get started is the tutorials in the PDF. I already have that open, so let's get started. Here I have it already launched. And if I scroll to the top, you'll see more information on the packing list, table of contents, listing of various tutorials, and the very first lesson we need to do, which is lesson zero, installing the IDE. It says to go to Arduino's website and install it. So let's do that. All right, the provided link does work, but sometimes it's useful to get there on your own. I went to the arduino.cc website, then clicked on the software menu item and then scroll down to the download the Arduino IDE. Here you'll find the Windows installer. You'll also find a Mac OS and Linux distributions, but since I have Windows, I'll click on the Windows installer. It does give you the opportunity to contribute and download or just download. Uh, I'm going to just click on the just download this time. When prompted, select save as. Then select what directory you want to save it in. I would typically save it in the folder where I have my other Arduino files, but as you can see, I've already downloaded it earlier, 
So normally you would hit save here, but I'll hit cancel for now and cancel here. The next step would be to install the Arduino IDE. Go to where you save the latest version and double click it to install. Again, I've already installed it, so I'll hit cancel here. But typically what will happen is you'll get prompted to install all of its components. Select yes. And I, the default is okay. I would also think that the default location is okay. You'll be also prompted to install the Arduino's USB driver. Well, obviously you want to be able to talk to the, your Arduino. So select the install button to finish installing. Once you've launched it, you'll get something like this. Here's something I was working on previously, but if I select new, here's basically what you'll see for your first sketch. Something very generic. There are some different methods provided in the tutorial, uh, especially if you have Linux or Mac. There's probably something there for you to look at to install the IDE in those environments. Otherwise, that's it. Well, that's the end of lesson zero. Thank you for coming along on this journey with me. The next lesson will be lesson one, add libraries and open serial monitor. Thank you again and see you next time.